Hi guys, welcome to letsplaymaths.com. Today we will learn LCM using prime factor method. Let's find out LCM of 8 and 12. First we must find out the lowest prime number that can divide either 8 or 12 or it can divide both 8 and 12. Here we can see the list of prime numbers are given. The prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. Here both 8 and 12 can be divided by 2. So we can consider 2 as the lowest prime number. Now divide both 8 and 12 by 2. If we divide 8 by 2, we will get result as 4. And if we, if we divide 12 by 2, we will get result as 6, as shown here. Right now, we have 4 and 6. And we need to find out a lowest prime number. Here we can see that 4 and 6 can be divided by 2. So here 2 is the lowest prime number again. So let's consider number 2. Now divide 4 and 6 by number 2. So if we divide 4 by 2, the answer will be number 2 as shown here. Now divide 6 by 2, the answer is 3, as shown here. Now we have number 2 and 3, and we know that there is no other number except 1, that both these numbers can be divided. So, let's consider a number that can divide either of them and that should be the lowest prime number so here let's consider number two as the lowest prime number now divide two by two the answer is number one and we know that number three cannot be divided by two so let's bring down number three as shown here now we have number 1 and 3 and the lowest prime number that will divide 3 is number 3. So let's consider number 3 as the lowest prime number. And we know number 1 divided by 3 will not lead to any result. So we'll bring down number 1. And 3 by 3 will result in number 1. Once we reach 1, 1, so the process of finding the LCM is completed. So, all the num prime numbers that are present in the red box need to be considered for finding out the LCM. If we multiply 2 by 2, again multiply by 2, again multiply by 3, the result will be 24. So, the LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. Please visit letsplaymaths.com for various worksheets, online tests, and educational videos. Thanks a lot for your time.